the vibe was super heavy before, but it feels no. it feels better to me here now than it did yeah. earlier. Every time I'm yeah. Do you feel do you feel safer now? It says my you, wrong. you do? Okay. Oh, that's great. Can you make that light up again for us? So what Bill is sensing is correct. Oh, that was right under us. Is that? That was right under the board me and you were standing on. It. Is it? Is that, that is that you knocking on the bridge? It all started with a video game. Where are you? Where are you? I'm right Where behind you. you. Oh I'm my right God. behind you. I'm okay. Right behind okay. You. Oh! <laughs> During the 2020 <laughs> pandemic lockdown, I invited my buddy T to join me in Phasmophobia, a heart elevating ghost hunting experience from Kinetic Games. What came next was a fan favorite on my Twitch channel Phasmophobia with the Phil Rossi Scream Team. And sure, we had fun. But as we started to see the end of the pandemic, I got a call from Phil. How would you like to do this for real? And now, here we are. Just two dads living their best life while investigating the afterlife. The Battle of Gettysburg was a major turning point in the American Civil War. From July 1st to July 3rd, 1863, an estimated 50,000 soldiers lost their lives in the sweltering summer heat. The battle would begin as an unplanned engagement with the Confederate forces ultimately overwhelming the 20,000 Federals, forcing them to fall back through Gettysburg and fortify Cemetery Hill. On July 2nd, the battle rages on at Devil's Den, Little Round Top, Cemetery Ridge, and other locations throughout Gettysburg. The Confederates escalate their assault, but the Union defenders hold on to their strong positions. July 3rd, General Lee believes the enemy forces are collapsing and the fighting resumes. Lee orders General E. Pickett to advance his division toward the enemy through a mile of unprotected farmland. Pickett's charge, as it has become famously known, proves to be a disaster with Confederate casualties at nearly 60%, the ranks of young men held off by close-range Union rifle and artillery fire. Lee withdraws his troops on July 4th. By the end of the engagement, the fields of Gettysburg were literally soaked in the blood of the fallen. Considering the trauma endured by the soldiers and the residents of Gettysburg that failed to flee in time, it's easy to understand why Gettysburg is host to a long list of haunted locations and countless ghost stories. The John D. Eisenhower Bridge, also dubbed the Suicide Bridge, is located just a half mile from the well-known Sachs Bridge, across which General Lee's men retreated. While not erected until years after the battle, the Eisenhower Bridge is one of Gettysburg's most active paranormal locations. The alleged suicides and other tales of woe surrounding the bridge are not much more than myths, yet stories of mysterious lights, shadow figures, disembodied voices, and strange bridge knockings are well known. The Children's Orphanage, also called the Homestead Orphanage, was opened in 1868. The widow, Mrs. Belinda Humiston, was the first matron of the Children's Orphanage, coming to live there with her three children. The first years of the orphanage were prosperous and happy ones. Mrs. Humiston remarried in 1870 and moved to Massachusetts as the number of orphans steadily increased. Rosa J. Carmichael was brought in as her replacement and the once happy home 
became a prison of cruel discipline and torture. Carmichael transformed the home's basement into a dungeon complete with shackles where children were confined without light, food, or water chained to the walls. For several years, there were only suspicions that the children were being mistreated. In 1876, these suspicions were confirmed when the Memorial Day procession took place without the children. Rosa had forbidden them to participate. Although Carmichael was convicted of her abuses in 1876, she remained in the town and in charge of the orphanage for a full year thereafter. Apparently, during this time, the abuse only intensified. Rosa locked a four-year-old boy out in the cold of winter in an outhouse. He was released when passerbys heard his screams. Carmichael forced girls to stand on desks in one position until they passed out from exhaustion. As more and more stories from the children who had left the homestead came out, pressure grew to close the orphanage. By the end of December, all of the children had been removed and the homestead was closed. Rosa J. Carmichael was never punished for her many cruelties, but in fact, she vanished completely. Gettysburg. Gettysburg. <laughs> well, I mean, where, where does one begin with Gettysburg? Wow. I mean... <laughs> I'm fumbling for words because honestly, it really, from the first time when I went up with Tina and right. Bren, just very casually to go explore the battlefields and and uh, explore the paranormal a little bit, to our first trip together, it is a place, and I use these words not lightly, but it is a, a place of just pure magic. Every time you go up there, it's a, it's a different experience. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so tonight we are actually documenting not necessarily one visit to Gettysburg, but actually three. There was a visit with uh, our respective families twice, mm -hmm. and then we're ending on on a specific on a specific catch that, that Pip and I made on one of our return trips right. back. So so lead us in, Phil. What was the what was the oeuvre of that first night that we were uh, we were up in Gettysburg? So really, the first the first night we went up there as a group was we wanted to have a fun family experience. Wanted to kind of introduce the broader family right to this paranormal investigation thing that dads have been doing for yeah. a couple months now. <laughs> and I looked into some of the groups there that host guided investigations, which I thought would be a good format for everybody and a good and, and a good format for us because we were still in those. We were still pretty green. We were still pretty green. Yeah. This was actually this this particular visit predates TWA. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So we yeah. were we were. Super green. We were super green. Yeah. Uh, so I found an organization called After Dark Investigations, and they had good reviews on the Yelp. And so called them up and booked a couple slots for us, and off we went up to Gettysburg uh, on a beautiful July night. It could not have been a more gorgeous night. We get up there around yeah. sunset. And I was going in with eyes wide open. Again, breaking down the gear, we had Simon with us again because that was mm -hmm. the only gear that I had at the time. Yep. <laughs> uh, I had my H4. I had the uh, original uh, digital camera. And mm -hmm. that was about it. Yeah. And I didn't have much more. I had my H4. Right. Uh, I had my H1, which was... You know, fresh off of Amazon. Right. Um, I had the one Evastar recorder. You had the Evastar. And I had the K2 mm -hmm. and my other EMF reader, and that was it. And I also remember that... And my camcorder. Uh, yeah. And and uh, and I remember the, the folks from After Dark. Our guide was Shay, mm -hmm. and she actually had some gear happening as well. She had a whole tower's worth yeah. of gear yeah. for us to... We were. Well, I remember. I think I leaned in at one point and I said, "This is what we're aspiring to." Right. <laughs> yeah. Which is funny that you said that then, and then look at our case. I know. Now. I know. Right. I know. Right. 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 <laughs> and um, and now, so so now going into Gettysburg, um, there were three locations that we hit, and I think we're just going to jump on ahead to uh, to Eisenhower Bridge. This yeah. is the, the this the the footage we have here, and this is probably the best footage we got pretty much all night. 
But we should add in the caveat that this isn't all the footage that we brought back. No. Oh, this is not all the footage. Not even all the footage that we brought back from the Eisenhower Bridge. Right. Right. And... This is like the best of the best. The best of, of the, the best. best. Right. <laughs> yeah. We should probably set the scene. We, we pull up to the Eisenhower Bridge and it was dark. And Eisenhower Bridge and Saks Bridge are... You know, less than a mile. Apart. Exactly. I mean, you could walk. Well, they're connected from one to another. They're connected by a walkway. Right. Mm -hmm. But nobody was coming down that walkway. I mean, there was there was a the atmosphere was charged. It, it was. I mean, it it was, was. It was very it was, charged. It felt different than the Grove. Yep. It felt different than Saks. It was definitely. Um, it felt like it was ready to to show us some things. We had two things. We had we had part of our group. Um, on one end of the bridge mm -hmm. and part of the group on the other side of the bridge. And this is, if I remember correctly, this is where, well, I see Simon here. So this was my end of the bridge, but you joined us. Yeah. And this was what we first picked up. We also heard that you like to scare people here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you're not frustrated that we're not, not afraid. Good, right? Yeah, we're not scared. We're just really happy that you're connecting with us tonight. I love the fact that Bren was like, did anybody else hear that? Because yeah. I think I heard a voice. <laughs> yeah. So again, that was just one, what, 30 second span of time. That yep. All those voices came through and... And we are off and running. And we are off and, and we running. Are off and, and one thing I, I will say is... When, if you're an investigator and you're reviewing your audio, don't discount s sections of audio where there's cross conversation going on because you still might catch something slipping in between those bits and pieces of, of conversation. Oh, yeah. That you can distinguish uh, through various techniques from the voices that are right. part of your group. Absolutely. And, and I think that's also part of the... The important thing when you have overlap, and there are going to be a lot of overlapping conversations on this, because Shay was, you could just tell she was an enthusiastic she investigator. Was, yeah. mm -hmm. She was very enthusiastic. She is on every one of the clips from the Eisenhower Bridge. And we we came back with quite a bit, but I wanted to point this particular clip out to you. This is, because we're going to be doing a lot of debates in this one. Um, and the first thing we're going to talk about is orbs versus insect life. I think it, I think it's a fair argument because Absolutely. well I'll let the clip do the speaking. Here you go. Do you think science is evil? Green for yes, oh, red for no. Is it temperature? So let's replay this. Okay. And I'll show you I'll, uh, if you didn't see if you didn't see Green it. for yes, oh, red for no. Pops in there. It goes up to the flux, and you can see there are other bugs around. But then it goes up and away. And if you missed it, don't worry, because I slowed it down to 15%. <laughs> and you see, at first, when I first saw this clip, I thought that was a firefly. But then it feels like this firefly, if it is a firefly, it's moving with a purpose. Because fireflies blink. That isn't blinking. Yeah, one that's not blinking. And I've, it's interesting because when I saw that it came come in first, I'm like, okay, so this is the insect clip, right? And then and I, an insect comes into the clip up the top of the frame, yeah. And then and then watch it; it's going to go up, and then it's going to just disappear, right? You don't see it. the The infrared is picking up other bugs in the area, but when this thing disappears, it literally just heads up. And then and it's peace, gone. Is what it says. It just pieces out. Yeah. It yeets out of there. Yeah, but here's the thing too. <clears throat> it looks like the insect is, you know, being illuminated by the IR emitters. Right. But whatever that is, looks like it's emitting its own light. Because if you look at the LEDs in the background, yeah. you look at the LEDs yeah. on the flux, exactly. and how they are emitting and they're their popping. own light, and they have a certain quality to them. And they pop to it. And that thing was popping just as much as the lights in Simon and as the lights in Shay's uh, motion detector back there. Yeah. And, that, and 
And I'm I, so here's the thing: the, what is the OSI policy concerning orbs? Because we're going to be talking a lot the about OSI orbs policy tonight. is that we don't talk about orbs. So <laughs> you got to scrap all those clips. And and the second rule: we do not talk about orbs. I, so then, what is that? No, I think well, it's honestly. I think it's honestly conditional, right? Um, and this also I, plays into my. This also plays into my issue with outdoor investigation. Yeah. Because first off, I'm amazed you picked up those EVPs because you can hear the you can hear the mm -hmm. cicadas and the crickets, and you can and you, you know we, we, we've got we've got a lot of uh, a lot of critters just flying yeah. around. Yeah. But then we get this. Well. And I think there's such a negative connotation to the word orb. <laughs> I let's know. face it. Well, now it is. Yeah. yeah. Now it is. Yeah. 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 Um, but I mean, it's it's compelling. Ah, there we go. We got we got our first use of, the, of 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 compelling tonight. There we are, and there we are. Okay. So now there's there's something specific about uh, about the Eisenhower Bridge that is famous, and I think you these are the these are the clips that you wanted me yeah, to talk a, to talk a lot about. And I've I've got after after working with these clips, I have some strong emotions about them, but I want to I want to hear your thoughts on it first. Okay, that makes me nervous. <laughs> Uh, one of the more well-documented phenomena taking place at the Eisenhower Bridge is the bridge knocks. Okay. With the bangs on the bridge. Right. Uh, we're not the only people that have that experienced them that night. We are not the only people to have experienced them. In fact, it's so notable that Tim and Chad um, reference it quite a bit in their book. And they went out to the Eisenhower Bridge, I think, over three or four nights over the span of a couple months. Did they ever go during the day? They did go during the day. And it didn't happen during the day? It didn't happen. I can't recall if it happened during the day. Okay. Um, however, you know, the times that they would go to the bridge, much right. like we were there late, um, any cooling that would ha have happened would have already happened. Okay. Uh, and then okay. when you hear, you know, metal cooling and making the noises it makes when it, when it's cooling uh it's pretty distinct and i feel like pretty dissimilar to the sounds that we heard especially since some of the knocks did have some different qualities to them so let's so let's play let's play one of those one of those knocks right now can you come back yeah, it's over there for being a guy. And I see that that one off that also went off. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Usually how it happens, though, is usually... There was that knock. Oh. oh. Heard that knock. Oh. That was the knock. Can you knock again? Okay. That was me. <laughs> definitely not the knock. <laughs> it was yeah. definitely... That, yeah. that last bit was definitely that not is the, the knock. That's the Eva star, that's which I mentioned in my five-minute paranormal. Yes, you did. I dropped I, it. Absolutely. And there's, there's fantastic five-minute paranormal. <laughs> But but you but you see what I mean you see you see what I mean that's that right there is that so that's the knock, and as I'm as I'm putting these clips together I'm like I'm really on the fence my my inner Scully as you would like to so, say is and, coming out hard okay that's fine and I will say one thing too. The recordings do not fully capture. That the is knocks. very true. that is very true. And there's one this may be the clip so I won't say it unless. I'll, I'll save it for the clip. Right. Um, well, I will say you. You. I did comment that at, like I was on. This is a pretty long bridge. It's about mm -hmm. a, a at least a at least a hundred yards mm -hmm. at least. And um, granted, I'm a lousy judge of a distance, but anyway. So let's say it's a hundred yards. And I'm on one end. You are on the all all the way on the other end. And when that knock happened, it sounds soft there, but it yeah. resonates. It yeah. pops. And there's a clip coming up where. Where Bren and I were standing, and Shay, the vibe was super heavy before, Apple. but it feels no. it feels better to me here now than it did no. earlier. I'm yeah. Do you feel do you feel safer now? It's a, my you, wrong. you do. Okay. Oh, that's great. Can you make that light up again for us? So what Bill is sensing is correct. Yes, sir. Oh, that was right under us. Yeah. Is that? That was right under the board me and you were standing on. Is it? Is that? that is that you knocking on the bridge? I sound calm, but I really wasn't feeling all that. No, good. you don't sound that calm. Yes, you did. No, well, that was the thing. 
it's it's known for the Knox. It's known for the Knox disembodied voices, right? Lights, mysterious lights, um, shadow figures on the path beyond the bridge. I was looking. Um, I was looking. I'd be the first one to say I was yeah. looking. Now I'm uh, trying to remember why did Shay bring the Barbie doll? Was that a, was that a trigger item that she yeah. was? Yeah. Uh, I think it was. Uh, I think it lit up. I think there were lights. Okay. In the, okay. In so the it was. A, it was. A, it was both trigger a and trigger object and, and interactive. An interactive object. Okay. Okay. While we didn't see the shadow figures and we didn't get the disembodied voices, we we you you did get this uh, little gem right here. You see this little blinking red light? I'm gonna set this over. And it's coming the real star. slow. Just say yes, that. It's it is. Nice it's the slow. I'm gonna set it down here. And if you have something you want to say, you can just say it into that blinking light. And then I'll, I'll be able to hear what you say. Oh, yeah. That one pops. Yeah. That one pops. That particular one. That particular one was, was appropriate because it was warm that night. But here's the thing, though. Around that time... People were starting to feel cold, and Shay had been talking about, I'm starting to get cold, I think I'm going to go put my pants on soon. Oh, that's right, because she was wearing shorts. shorts. You're right, you're right, So, you're right. I mean, but again, yeah, it was warmer and warmer that day, it was warmer in the evening, but it was starting to get cool. Again. Again? Compelling. Again, yes. Yeah. But that was yeah. one of those yeah. ones that just jumped out. I didn't have to do anything to hear that. No, that was, was, that, was, was, a, right that, was a, that was a good catch. That was a real good catch. It was... Yeah, and, that was, and it was. It, I think another thing that was great about this event was that it was something that we we got to do with the wives and with the daughters. Mm -hmm. And um, Sunny was so hard to read during that, but yeah. she was into it. Yeah. she was into it. So what? What about Brent? Was uh, you know, same thing. She was just really into it. Yeah, yeah. She was like Mister Spock with the uh, with 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 the with with the uh, was it the, with the obvious? She yeah, yeah. Loves. <laughs> The ovulus, yeah. and I, I, I think it's, I'm, I find it a compelling device. Yeah, I bet, I bet well. you do. I, I bet do. you do. So, uh, yeah, but <laughs> I'm she, not sold uh, on it yet, you know. But hey, but hey, we'll, I, get, we'll get you there. I, I see. Yeah. I see how it is. I but see how it is. I want to posit something else for you to think about. Okay, that okay. was kind of been do so. do so. rolling around in my head here a little bit. You know, as you talked about just getting accustomed to the flux, and I feel like over time starting with TWA and then beyond, I feel like even if you don't get as many responses, I feel like you've been getting more meaningful interactions out of the flux. It's, it's, a, it's more about trust. It's more about trust. I think it's about trust and it's about intention, right? And I think if you have that trust, you trust that device and this, this sort of positive intention of interaction and connection I mean, I think those are two pretty potent spices to toss into the investigation. I would agree. Too. And I would also say that that came into play when we, as two families, returned to Gettysburg and went mm -hmm. to the Homestead Orphanage. Yes. So we were saying we yeah. had a good experience. We had a really good experience previously with right. Gettysburg, but we decided it'd be fun to take the reins ourselves, and rather than do a guided investigation, why not do rent out own. a location and do our own? Yeah. And so that's what we did with uh, the Homestead Orphanage, aka the Children's Orphanage. And so we went up there. The investigation, though, it was uh, toward the end of the summer, and right. so they had started doing their Halloween themed. Tours, right. So our investigation didn't start until midnight, which which there was there was a bit of a there was a bit of a of a cool factor about that. The, yeah, yeah, there was there really was there yeah, really was. Yeah. Now we had the same gear, but this was post TWA, right? So you had the REM pod. Yep, this was I think the second outing for the REM pod. Yes, second outing for the REM pod. And since we were talking about gear, um, this is this was again this is one of the things that I noticed you brought in. You brought in cat toys. Yes. So something to know about this clip, when you see it, you'll actually see the, the, the cat balls already lit. It's because this my we, we got activity from the cat toys just as my camera was automatically starting up a brand new clip. I see. Which is okay. why when I hit start on this. Great. 
just coming saying. out of the box strong. Yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. But you do see the lights stop exactly. and then start up. Wow. And, and you notice that's a reflection wow. off of the, cool, the post there. It? Right. Or the uh, the side of the wall yes, there. The light is very, very strong. Yeah. Keep going. Uh-huh. It's nice to have toys. What the? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you missed you, that one. Uh, yeah, you, you missed that one. Shoot, did that, is that not from my audio though? You never shared that with me. No, that's that's from that's from your audio. No, 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 I'm sorry. That's from my audio. Okay. That's my audio. So we might have to play this clip again. We might have to play this clip again. Back that clip up. Back that clip up. Yeah. So because this is this is a great this is a great uh, a, a great clip for discussion because. Um, for those of you who've been watching the clip, not necessarily Phil's reaction. This came from my camera. This was my audio. And yeah, I picked up your ball. Yeah, I... Um, now I'm going to want to go back through my yeah. audio records to see that I can. But this is, why anyway. you have, this is why you have multiple recorders going. Yeah. Because if you can... It's one thing when you capture an EVP. But when you confirm it with someone else's like when yeah. i confirm when you say t i picked up something at this point at this point and i go and i pick up something or even better i pick up something different yeah that's that's ridiculous that's, yeah it's it's it's, 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 it's great it's, it's great it's not compelling it's freaking yeah, cool yeah, yeah. um so let's watch this again great job hey. thank you for that thank you for that who is that who was it wow wow you really like that ball that's cool isn't it it's the light is very, very strong. Yeah. Keep like that. Uh -huh. It's nice to have choice. And right? that is yeah. clearly a, a, it's a child's voice. But now, so we've been reading names of the kids all night. So watch what happens with Bren. <laughs> yeah. Are you with us right now? But you're raising your kid right, because watch what happens. Yep. Yes, Dad, a proud parenting moment. Might have been <laughs> a proud thing. paranormal parent moment. Yeah. The three Ps. And that's the thing. Your phone will 100% yes. set off your EMF readers. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. It will do that. And so that's one of the reasons why if, you're, if you've got an EMF reader of any kind, you're going to uh, have to keep it in your back. Uh, no, sorry, keep your phone in your back pocket or keep your phone off completely. Yeah, or I re recommend airplane mode. Yeah, if you if you want to be really yeah careful. And this is within the first few minutes. This is within the first few minutes. Yeah, we had of, just gone lights out. Yeah, we just gone lights out. Uh, you can see the REM pod. You can see the uh, the cat toys. Okay. And there's a weird orb activity in that one. All right. Well, funny you should mention orb activity. Funny you should mention orb activity because we're going to talk about that. Right now, I look so like I'm about to kiss my recorder. No, that no, you, you trust. I would me. though. I love that. You, you don't do it. All right. This oh, is the very oh, beginning. Cheers. This is right at lights out. Yeah. Thank you for inviting us into your space here tonight. For allowing us to come here and connect with you. We're here out of the utmost respect. We're here to learn about your story, to go out and tell your story. All right. right, so here's the replay. Well, now, hello, spirits. We've got some stuff floating down. We've got some stuff floating up, but that's not what I want to point out. Watch the top of the screen. To come here there you go. Oh, wait, did you miss it? Don't worry. Slow down to 15% speed. You see at the top of the screen, as Phil is introducing us, that goes straight across. I think I started getting away from orbs as... And I, I really hate saying it like this, but this is the only way I can say it. Legit evidence right. after Crescent. Because yeah. I thought for a second, I'm like, oh my God, we're being, we're being bombarded by war. <laughs> They're attacking us. <laughs> There's no escape. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then, and then when, I, when, I, when I looked a little closer, I'm like, oh, no, that's dust. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, but that's because the dust was either falling or it was being kicked up by something, but I don't remember any of the dust at Crescent going in a horizontal fashion. Like a yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's so tough. It's so it is tough, tough. But you got to take a stand. Well, fine, okay, fine. You don't want to take a stand here. Let's uh, let's let's <laughs> let's look at Exhibit B. This over, just okay. Just take yeah, my phone. Okay. okay. All right. So I wonder if that's too loud. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. All right. Yeah. So if you missed it, watch the center of the screen. Okay. There we go. Don't worry. If you missed it, slow down again. You'll see that there is something that comes into the center of the screen and then says, oh wait, I forgot. I think I left the stove on. And then it doubles back and then slips off. It also looks like it doesn't, it like fades. Yeah. And it's also doing something weird. It it's yeah. Going. Like it's kind of but, like shape shift, not shape shifting, but. But, but just, it, just shifting in some way. Shape is not it's consistent. Change, yeah, right. It's not a consistent circular kind of shape. So, th so this, so, uh, so riddle me this Batman. It's a ghost. The <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna double down and say that. Is that what we're doing? No. That's what we're doing no, now. Riddle me, riddle me. I'm I right. just, I mean, I, I will accept if it's falling, yes. If it's rising, yes. It's probably dust. But even as Pip has pointed out when she saw this clip, she was like, well, I don't see a vent on the other side of that, on the other side of the wall, kicking, kicking things, anything else. Also, it's isolated. It's going in and then mm -hmm. it's literally following a path and then going yeah, down. Right. Now, if there's an air current, if we were in a wind tunnel, if, we, if there was a fan, an oscillating fan happening, that there I was, could but get But there in was it. really none of that. No, it was, it was very still in there, I yeah. remember. And the air, the air kicked on a couple times, and when it did, I know on my video, when the air kicked on, you could see things kicked up. Right, up. Right, and right. the characteristics were somewhat different from what we've been observing here. In but, these. but horizontal movement, movement that where, where it actually follows a pattern. Yeah. That's, I, I don't think I fully put stock into ghost orbs, but at the same time, I'm not ready to dismiss them just based on the stuff that we brought back from no. Gettysburg. No. Yeah. Okay, so the, the investigation moves. Uh, this, and this, I, I, give, I wanna give mad props to the people that run uh, the homestead because they really did run a, a terrific little uh, evening for us. We, we had one chaperone, and he mm -hmm. basically just stayed out of our way. Yeah. So by running it, you mean... He was just he was just attending to make sure yeah. we didn't trash the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but we had two hours in the Homestead Orphanage, and we did one hour upstairs in the main dining hall, and it flew by. Mm -hmm. It just flew by. Then we went down into the, the basement or mm -hmm. the pit, and that had an activity all of its own. It really did. Yeah. But I caught this in preparation for tonight, and this is the, and the audio accompanying this clip is us downstairs. And here's what I picked up. You can get closer. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah you got that motion there. there. That was that was popping all now, night. If, you are, if, you're, if there's someone still back here too, you can come out. Come on out. You made the green light go off for me and Mr. Phil twice. Can you do it for my wife and my kid? Or do you want to make it red? You can touch that blue light and make it red. Do you not like that there's a lot of people here? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Wholesome fun. Wholesome fun. Wholesome fun. I must have listened to that clip over and over and over again because I was like, is he saying wholesome fun? And then I thought about it and I'm like, we're doing a paranormal investigation with our kids yeah. and just having a lot of fun asking the, the spirits. Come play with this light. Come play device. with this light. You know, do you think the girls are cute? And then this voice out of nowhere says wholesome fun. And... I'm like, oh, oh, oh okay. I was, like, is that creepy or is that kind? <laughs> so, yeah. so we were downstairs. Okay, now that was my was, audio, and this was the later part of being downstairs too, because we had and gone yes. down alone first. Yeah, we had gone down alone, and then when we got a hit from Simon saying, "Yeah, my wife has a funny accent," we brought we brought everybody so down, everybody and down. Um, the motion sensor that went off at the beginning of the clip really got connected with Pip. Yeah. And, and every time Pip would talk to that, that spirit, that, that light would just go off. But that first clip was us downstairs. That was the audio from downstairs. Mm -hmm. We're playing this moment again, but this time the audio is coming from upstairs. You left a recorder playing, didn't you? I left my you? H4 upstairs. Okay. So you're about to see the same clip. You're about to see the same clip 
but this time we're using Phil's audio from upstairs. You can get closer. Oh, yeah, look, look, hi there. This is still, yeah, no, you'll see where it switches. You'll see where it switches in a second. Too. So that's so, the thing. It was it, it's it's super thin. The, uh, the the sound can really travel up from downstairs to upstairs right. and vice versa. But there's a quality to the sound. Yes, when it is traveling. There's a lot more reverb on it. Basically, when it's a voice from a different area. Yeah. Either that was a breath, or you know what else it sounded like? It sounded like someone was sliding the recorder, and then saying closer. But that was Let's, audio from yeah. upstairs, and there was nobody up there. The, the guy was sitting out in the hallway. He was out. It was out the in the hallway. The door shut to yep. that room was yep. closed at that time yep. too. The theory is is that when when spirits do talk, it takes a lot of energy, mm -hmm. and so maybe that's it. But then again, we don't know because nobody was in the room. No one was in the room. <laughs> no one was in the room when that mm -hmm. happened. Man, either way, that's great. That's that that, is, that's a great that, little moment. That's golden. I wanted to wrap up our talk about about all the evidence that that we've collected, and um, I'll set the scene. So basically, we we went back again, and is this after the orphanage? This is after the orphanage. Okay. This is after the orphanage. Okay. We had a great night. Mm -hmm. we had a fantastic night. It was it was just a great time. And Pip was like, I'm feeling the pull. I want to go back again. And we still had a great, solid, great time. Still a wonderful, wonderful uh, afternoon in Gettysburg. We're walking back to our car. It's twilight. We are exhausted. And we're walking by a monument of the 6th Cavalry mm -hmm. of the Army of the Potomac. Mm -hmm. And I still got the H4 going because... I was taught by the best. Keep the recorder going at all costs. So I, I'm just someone. Sitting no, no, up no, my no. Shoulder? So no, no. That's a, but but I'm. So I get to this. I get to this one place, and I, I, I have this exchange. And of course, silence. I get mm -hmm. I get silence in response. And at that point, I remember thinking that I even remember thinking it as I was reviewing the the audio of going. This was only, and this was like my my. By fourth outing, yeah, this is the this is the first time that Pip and I had gone on our own, and I was just like, "Am I wasting my time?" And then I hear this on the audio. So we're about to leave. If you want to say anything, now would be a good time. If you are here. Give us a sign. Speak with us, please. Anyone from the Army of the Potomac? The first time I heard that, I screamed Pip's name. She comes running down the stairs going, what's wrong? And I just hand her the <laughs> headphones. She lost sleep yeah. for two nights because she was trying to explain away that moment. Yeah, and, I, even, and all I did, all I did was highlight, boost the audio, yeah. and that was it. Well, even hearing it now, like the hair on the back of my neck just stood up too. I mean, it's that yeah. is the grade A gold standard. I judge all EVPs by now because yeah. well. beca because <laughs> this was the moment where I became. I honestly <laughs> felt like, uh, no, no kidding, I became a believer that there really is something to what we're doing here. And if you notice, if you notice, this moment cor correlates exactly with the time, okay, we're gonna start calling ourselves old spirits. Here's how we're yeah. gonna do that. This is how we're, how we're doing the yeah. YouTube channel. Suddenly, I got kicked well, into overdrive because of that moment. Well, that's interesting too, because... Do you think all paranormal investigators have a moment like that? 
I can't I, wait to I, get the answer this well, time. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't I don't feel like I can justifiably answer that question because I, I honestly I I can't even speculate. I know people that I have had on Don't Turn Around have had these moments, but I also feel like these are really you know special rare moments. But everyone's moment is going to be different, right? Absolutely. And, no, I totally the, understand. Yeah, I totally that, get that. And then also, you know, someone might have that moment, and it might not be this A plus grade A, but that, <laughs> it might still be that moment. Right. And then they're going to get one of these, and their socks are going to be knocked right off. I mean, right. but I don't. Oh, gosh, I mean, if I had to guess, I think this is rare. And I think what we bring back is pretty rare. And why? Why us? Why us? Why us? Knock wood. No idea. Why I initially sent you 22 clips. The wives are like pointing at each other. It's like, it's because of us. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, you know what? And we're not sharing either. God. <laughs> I just, I want to have a good answer. Something that sounds eloquent and... And they're like, wow, that's that is very insightful, but well, if you want eloquence, do we think Gettysburg is haunted? Come on. You're haunted. haunted. When you sum up Gettysburg, what do you think of it? What is your takeaway from Gettysburg? So I did my first battlefield investigation, which was my first experimentation getting out there. That was Ball's field, Bluff, right? That was, was Ball's Bluff. Bluff. Ball's Bluff, yeah. Right. I had this this what I felt was like an understanding of what it was to be on the battlefield and investigating and and while th while the the overall theme vibe was similar at Gettysburg uh, it was just at a, just such a different level right? well it, Gettysburg was a di well was Gettysburg a, was a battle of a yeah. different level altogether yeah and but the, the the fact that this sort of undercurrent felt very similar but it felt just the feelings that I felt there were almost magnified. Uh, I think just spoke to me on a different level of just the of just what that experience was and of, of the power of that place and that the that certain areas have their have their character and their energy um, while can still have the same kind of thread running through them. So that was one one takeaway and if I had to summarize my takeaway to as the simplest statement as possible there's a lot going on in Gettysburg and it might not just be soldiers and it might not just be orphans but there is a there's a special power to that place and that's why I just as you do feel so compelled to keep going back and keep exploring and every time the experience offers something different and we come back with something different and so, Gettysburg. It's the I gift. That, it's I the gift that keeps I'm on giving. Say, man. I, can't, I can't quit you. <laughs> <laughs> and that is going to wrap up our investigation of Gettysburg. But don't worry, we're going back. In fact, we'll be going back not only with the wives for Couples, couples Weekend, but we will also be returning to the Jenny Wade House with Steve, the Blind Gamer Sailor. So make sure to stick around for that. But thank you so much for giving us your time for Old Spirits. We ask that you like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to have notifications enabled so that when we put up any new content, including a five-minute paranormal, we will keep you informed of when new content goes live. But before we leave, we have a question for you. What did you hear in the EVPs? What did you see in the clips that we offered tonight? We'd love to have that discussion with you. Again, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the field.